Shalom, Makai, Yahweh, Dr. Ta'a, Bashamayim, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, giving all praises to the Abba, now Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah. I want to get script for the day. This is 2nd Ezra, um, chapter 16, verse 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. Uh, I like to go to uh, 76. It says, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts save the Hawa power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Con, con. So the Most High says uh, that he's with us. Not to be afraid nor doubt, for he is our God. Um, you know, he just wants us to keep the commandments, don't let our sins weigh us down, and um, to pretty much turn away from our iniquity. Verse 76 it says again, and the guide of them who keep my commandments. So that's the condition. He guides those that keep his commandments. And precepts say of your power, power, that not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. So don't let your sins weigh you down, right? Don't break break the law. That's the breaking of the law. Sin is transgression of the law. First John 3 and 4. Uh, let your natural iniquities lift themselves up, meaning don't be diligent in uh, committing an iniquity or sin. But, you know, we're all going to fall short and we're all, you say, a righteous, you know, he says a righteous man falls at a time to get back up. So he said, don't let him weigh you down when you sin. Don't stay down in your sin. But, uh, and don't let your iniquity lift themselves up, but walk away, you know, uh, and so Rocky says, flee from sin is from the face of a serpent, so that's what he wants us to do, he wants us to walk away from our sins so they don't lift themselves up and hold us down, but to keep the commandments that will lift us up in spirit, you know what I mean, uh, so I was edifying, I don't want to say shalom.